let's say that you know that the average college graduate makes 80000 a year and that the average high school graduate makes $50,000 a year. The question to you is this. Is this evidence, is this compelling enough? Is this evidence compelling enough for you to say, yes, a college degree causes your income to go up? Now, it might seem like, yeah, this should be compelling enough evidence, but not so fast because if this is essentially what we call a correlation that in in observe in observing salaries across different education levels that the higher education people you know have higher salaries but that correlation does not necessarily imply causation for example and the reason it's uh, you know so again i'm not saying that college doesn't cause your salary to go up i'm saying that that evidence alone that's is not sufficient for us to establish that fact there is other evidence in the world that helps us confidently kind of say that, oh yeah, you know what, there is a causal relationship between uh, going to college and having a higher income, but it's not this evidence. It's not just the fact that there's a difference. Because what if I were to tell you, uh, and this, these are true things, that cities, uh, you know, all cities that have more fire, you know, w with a lot of fires, they have one thing in common, uh, you know, and that is that they have uh, usually have larger fire departments or more firemen per uh, you know uh, per capita or something. Um, well, then that alone is not evidence that fire you know the, the firefighters are causing fires you know even though there's that correlation. So um, and similarly with uh, uh, ice cream and drowning, on average, the more people have ice cream, the more likely they are to drown. I mean, does that mean that we should essentially say that, you know, we should not, people should not have ice cream because that's going to cause them to drown? And the answer is no, that those things are correlated, but there's no causal relationship between them. Usually, uh, whenever there's this issue of, oh yeah, is there a causal relationship or not? There's something called a confounding variable. So a confounding variable, confounding is essentially the variable that's doing the actual explaining and not your x variable. So if we're trying to explain, so if we're trying to explain our y variable of income with our x variable of education, uh, you know, and we're trying to say, oh yeah, the more education, the more income, that's, you know, a causal relationship. But here's one confounding variable, motivation. What if uh, you were to find out that the people who have college degrees, on average, have a higher motivation level? I mean, it's really tough, if not impossible, to measure motivation. But, you know, as a concept, suppose that we, we can all agree that, oh, yeah, this group of people are, uh, you know, more motivated. And what if we also know, separately, that on average, all else equal, even for the same education level, more motivated people have higher salaries all right, uh, maybe their boss is recognizing it or something and they're being more productive, who knows, right? So let's say we have those two facts established. Well, now, all of a sudden, we have no idea whether this $80,000, this $30,000 extra premium from going to college is because college is causing that or if it's, it just so happens that it's actually motivation that's doing the causing of this higher salary and just that this group of people, those with college degrees, happen to be a more motivated group of people on average than this group of people. And so uh, with confounding variables, you're going to essentially uh, have the situation where you have an alternative explanation for this observed correlation and that your initial causal guess might not actually be the true relationship at hand. You don't know. And so really the main, the other new vocab word here is selection bias. So selection bias, again, it's basically when, uh, when there's a confounding variable uh, and essentially what you have is this group of people are self-selected and that those with a college degree uh, are people who have something else like motivation uh, that's sort of self-selecting into this group. And so really, all, uh, you know, long story short, all else is not held equal. These two groups, college versus high school, 
uh, not all, you know, everything else isn't equal. And so there's some selection bias going into who gets a college degree in the first place. And that confounding variable might uh, lead to, you know, a higher salary. And so now we no longer know that college is doing the causing.